Okay, uh, today I'm going to show you how to do what I call a, it's like a, it's like a face base connector uh, to your equipment. Uh, I've been asked by several people in the comments and so I started to think, okay, you know what, I need to show you guys how to build these because I get, a, I get you know, enough comments. So today I want to show you how to build, uh, um, you know, a surface connector type uh, fitting for conduits and then I'll show you the advantages of it. So here, actually I'll show you the advantages here is that basically I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this coupling. Now this is going to be a two-parter. The first part is just going to be a simple connector and then after that, as you can see here, this connector here, if I want to, you know, draw a conduit up from there, um, I, all I have to do is say draw a conduit and basically, you know, I don't know why it's a negative, but let's just go to there, apply, okay, and as you can see here, it drew a conduit, pretty, it's pretty simple, move it around easily, all right, <clears throat> okay, so let's delete that real here because that's another thing I noticed. All right, as you can see here, I've got this little line here, uh, which I'll show you in a minute what that is, basically that just tells you, you know, you can't get that past the edge of the uh, equipment here so uh, it's just an invisible line we'll talk about later and also tell you it tells me also too is like for example I'm gonna click this connector here and I'm gonna say hey I want you know say four of them so when I do that I get four evenly spaced based on the size of the conduit in this case it is you know uh, a one inch conduit and inside uh, well I guess you can't really see it here but uh, you know, you'll see the the spacing based on the, the the size of the conduit. Okay, and so that's what I'm gonna tell you, how, teach you how to do today is how to build this conduit connector. Maybe not as you know as high level uh, as I have here. Basically, make a simple connector, and uh, so all right, modify an op uh, existing one. So we're gonna go to Open Family, and here we're gonna go to uh, C Drive, and we're gonna go to Program Data. Uh, Autodesk and then I'm going to go down to the version of Revit you're looking for which in this case I'm going to do 2020 and then I'm going to go to libraries Imperial conduits fittings EMT for now and I'm just going to pick the coupling and open that up and I'm just going to blow everything away all right simple enough and we're going to go to plan view and I'm going to change that to call that offset all right and then I'm going to come in here and change that to zero for now and I'm going to take diameter and I'm going to move it to other I like to get it out of the way I like to just put my all the dimensions just the ones that can be changed this outside uh, diameter I'm just gonna blow that away I don't really need that the length radius oops I did that backwards my bad sorry I meant to hit radius I want to move down out of my way okay okay all right looks good and okay and now what I want to do is uh, I'll just create another one called control outside uh, fitting and that'll be the thickness oops change that to other that'll be the thickness of the coupling I'll just put it in oh man getting fat fingers here so other okay and what we'll do here is we'll make a formula here and we'll say radius plus three that usually works for me it's the thickness of the pipe and just gives me a little bit of spacing there and then here I'll do the same thing I'll just copy that and then I'll say plus of an inch you make it a little bit bigger if you want uh, actually you know, we'll make it three thirds seconds 
probably better. Okay. Say okay. Oh, I forgot to make that a instance parameter. All right. Oh, I shouldn't have done that yet. All right, let's change that to say two inches. Let's offset. Okay. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just this is gonna be a simple extrusion. We're not gonna make it complicated. All right. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna say I want to throw a center mark in here, and then I'm gonna align it and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. And then I'm going to change that dimension to outside, okay, depending outside, okay. And change that to 12 so the text isn't so big. Well, I usually look at it as the outside, well, I should say inside dimension. I could actually change that. Let me just do that real quick because that makes sense. So say an outside, just do inside. All right, and I'll tell you what, we'll just change that. And make that back to, to outside. Oops. If I can type, all right. Okay, and click on that. Move that out of the way. Okay, that'll be the outside. Okay. Change the to one inch. All right. And now we'll select the geometry and I'll say the length. Okay. All right. Just gonna put on fine for now and shaded. So you'll see a little bit better here. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a connector. All right. Before we place the connector, uh, you know, I, if you select the round connector dimension, you have a choice between radius and diameter. I always like diameter, it's just, you know, it's just easier for me. Okay. And what we're going to do is select that and we want to flip it the other direction because the pipe's coming into the conduit. And then we're going to basically give it uh, the uh, diameter, nominal diameter dimension. Okay. All right. And technically, I mean, that's it. That's, that's pretty simple. All right. So we're going to test it out here. Oh, before we do, we're going to offset to zero because that'll be part two uh, right now we're just gonna make a simple connector and then now put it into the project okay and I'm gonna place it oh you know what first thing I forgot <laughs> my bad let's go back here to the fitting uh, forgot some simple little thing here so I take it off of vertical and uh, put on work plane based okay all right so now when I place it as you can see here places on the surface now I can click on that and draw a conduit and basically say I want to go up to say 12 feet hit apply okay or I can come in here and place it a few times okay and I can go my 3d view here and uh, what I'll do is I will in front of the here okay I'll I'm gonna create some at 12 feet high I'm gonna say it's coming in as you can see here now when I place it I mean see how fast I can draw these things really fast you know let's say this one's coming in this way as you can see, it just drops it down there really quickly. So, oops, I guess do 3D. All right, and uh, so let's just say you wanted to do it from the bottom. You can easily do the same thing from the bottom. Place it. 
place a couple of connectors. No, I'll just place one for now. And then here I can say, okay, I want to draw a conduit and I want to make that uh, you know, negative, say three feet. Come in here. And as you can see here, it'll draw back up to it. And so now I want to go to three, uh, to 3D. You know, they're pretty quick, all right? Now granted, we're just placing one at a time. And, my, and I'll show you in the next video basically how to make it a multiple so you basically you can get the right spacing um, and you know that uh, that invisible line that it, oh sorry that uh, that I showed you before it, it's the edge of the panel board so you don't get it too far over so yeah it, whatever spacing you kind of like there you can set for your for your office all right okay well that was part one and uh, in part two like I said we'll modify that fitting and make it uh, where you have multiple fittings all right, uh, until next time. Thanks.